Why have you decided to take on the mighty spirit? What's in it for you? <laughs> they say imitation is the highest form of flattery. So when Scoot, a low-cost Asian airline, noticed that Spirit Airlines had adopted a very similar marketing approach to ours, we didn't throw away money on lawyers. Instead, we told our doppelganger that if they wanted to copy the brand, at least do it well. With tongue firmly in cheek, we sent a video featuring Scoot's CEO, Campbell Wilson, with a personal message to Spirit Airlines. We then sent them a toolkit to help them properly replicate our brand, including a don't cease and desist letter, Scoot's corporate identity guidelines, and a step-by-step -step guide to hold their hand through the creative process. We included some of our brand illustrations that they could trace. Even our old ads were recycled into the packaging itself. But that was just the beginning. We then took to the skies and flew a blimp over their headquarters in Florida. And because Scoot had recently won Marketer of the Year, we sent them a DIY replica of the award that they could make themselves. We just named the wide body Dreamliner we took delivery of uh, last week. We called it Inspiring Spirit. The media and online community started rallying for us, including some Spirit employees. They say you're doing a good job creating a lot of publicity. Very interesting story, I have to say. Uh, and you guys really have taken some friendly jabs at Spirit Airlines. This whole campaign is really just a reinforcement of what we stand for as an airline. 